Oh, kids playing outside at the schoolyard. <clears throat> I will accompany that noise with my drumming. I don't have a sophisticated enough setup to uh, have you know, you guys be uh, any anybody see what I'm doing, so you'll have to uh, just imagine. It's still a work in progress. My biggest problem right now is that my elbow slips off my armrest. Oh, here's my gimpy hands that I use. One hand and the other. Uh, uh, and I've been having some pain today. It was happening last night. I didn't get much sleep last night. And uh, I've, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a day with a lot of nerve. A nerve pain in my legs. Just uh, taking it easy. Um, but I'm gonna do some drumming for you. Uh, yeah, like like I'm. I just for anybody that's watching that knew me that knows me from around town here in Vancouver. Uh, you haven't seen me in like three years. Um, I'm the same guy. Maybe a little wiser, a little older, but uh, yeah, I haven't been out because um, I, a couple of years ago, I gradually started getting this. Uh, started out as like a vibration in my legs. Went to the doctors, the hospital so many times. Uh, because I would get into, uh, my blood pressure would go really high. Then they would send me home with a little Valium or Ativan and, you know, I'd be back to trying to figure it out on my own. And eventually, <coughs> they did diagnose it as nerve pain. And they pretty much, uh, after increasing the pills that I was on, uh, that, uh, they, they, it came to the, the conclusion that there was no, that the uh, science around nerve pain is a bit too complex for modern medicine and they don't uh, have an answer for it. So all the uh, gabapentin did was regulate um, the uh, episodes of a high blood pressure or they attempted to, but in exchange they sort of damage the nerves over time. So, you know, <laughs> now I'm at a point where I, I just control my my thoughts as best I can so that I don't have any episodes of worry, but the pain is uh, quite intense at times and prevents me from going out the door because I can barely wear clothes on my legs. Um, anything touching my skin is quite uh, a sensation. And it lasts for days afterwards. So I can, uh, I can't, it's hard for me to go out anywhere and see you or whoever this is and see other people. It doesn't prevent me from living. I mean, I, I do my everything online now. And people come here. I have really good people. Excellent team of people that work for me. Work with me. Help me. And, uh, yeah. They, they, they kept me going through all this stuff. It was a mystery for a while. People, I mean, I thought I was going crazy. Other people thought I was going crazy. I couldn't blame them for thinking it. They, you know, all I would say is, oh, it's like electricity. And what are you talking about? Yeah, it's going through. It's, it's like, 
Uh, anyway, you know, I, I just couldn't explain it in a way that even satisfied my own, you know, sense of describing something scientifically or whatever. It was just something unexplainable that I seemed to, I thought it was associated with with the pill. Although it was like also the only thing that was prescribed. There are some other medications, mostly like anti-anxiety medications. And I've tried them and uh, they don't really help the nerve pain. They kind of make it worse in their own way. So, you know, the doctor tells me at this point to just increasing the gabapentin until it doesn't do anything. And then, you know, just have surgery. Uh, another friend of mine says that that's Cam. Hey, Cam, if you're watching this, this is um, he does the gabapentin at a higher, do much higher, do quite a bit higher than me, and I'm pretty high. And then he does another strong pain medication. I do a very small amount. Um, and I don't really want to increase. The doctors, of course, don't want me to either. But, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Right now, I'm just staying steady at a certain dose. Just getting my uh, voice, my, my, my confidence. What was that So I saw today? I got to remember that. Joy. confidence I can't remember what it was but yeah those are the things associated with with being um tuned into the holy spirit being being uh you know at peace you could say so um yeah it's not a pleasant experience my legs feel like they're electrocuted or electrified a lot of the time, and, uh, um, you know, if I do do anything, I kind of pay for it r severely the next day with, with much increased, and probably have to take some pain medication just to get through the day on the days after for like two days until my body sort of calms down again. So anyway, that's where I've been, and that's a little explanation without getting into that I mean that pretty much explains it all the way I didn't explain you know, what my body would use to go into like high blood pressure episodes the gabapentin kind of addressed that but it also didn't now if I take any more it gets kind of worse it might get better for a short period and then it just I just start tanking so and it, and it takes away my intellect uh, so it's not really worth it so here I am fighting as I always do um yeah and and I've I'm just getting my drumming back I'm gonna get this elbow thing figured out too so my elbow doesn't slip so much and I can drum really for, like how do you supposed to drum if you can't hold your arm or your hand in the position that you want to it's impossible like you need to know where your hand's gonna land and how it's gonna land and I already have this floppy, like, you know, this is my tool. This is my drumming tool. This is my bass hand. Okay? That's my bass hand. That's half my instrument. And here's my other hand. Like, I don't have a lot to work with, uh, with instruments. And uh, I can't grab anything, or, but I have it, drums in my head. Like, I can do it with my mouth. I haven't been able to translate it really well through sound yet.
Oh yeah, my drum and bass days. Used to go out to all the drum and bass raves out there. <laughs> All right, I'll post that. I got to get a drink and take care of these legs that are screaming at me. Bye for now. Like and subscribe, share if you want. Make a comment, write a comment. I'll try to be better at responding. I know I've sucked in the past. I swear I'm just starting to get a grasp on these leg things. Like It's just been a matter of doing day to day what needed to be done. I didn't have any time for social media or talking to people about explaining things. I honestly just had to get down to the brass tacks, like getting caregivers, training them, getting, making sure my doctors were the right ones, trying to figure out the medications, getting up in the morning, getting to sleep at night. You know, that's what I've been up to, if you want to know the truth. Getting the right food. Yeah, I went ups and downs to the max. So, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, and I'm in pretty good shape other than these, which are severely crimping me. I can't even go out. I <coughs> yeah. Well, no, I can't say, I'm not going to say that. I haven't gone out. It's not that I can't go out. Of course I can go out. The door's right there. Just have to put some clothes on or cover myself. 
and go out there. But I got to get this thing figured out first if it's possible. If anybody out there has a, uh, I know I should have said this at the beginning, but if you're still here and you're still listening, um, thank you. And uh, I don't know, man. I hope the universe sends me some kind of miracle cure for this or answer to this situation so I can get back to uh, uh, I pray to God I've, I've accepted Christ and uh, I know that that he's got my uh, my will at heart so I don't I don't worry too much these days and that's helped a lot but just knowing that from day to day things are gonna go well and uh, one way or the other, I'm in good hands. So I don't wor I don't uh, have the same problems with blood pressure um, in that regard. But yeah, it, you know, God can work in any number of ways, and He can uh, certainly send me. Uh, maybe the answer is already here. I just haven't found it. In terms, I mean, you know, the answer in terms of getting my legs to to calm down and to start, uh, and, you know, trust me, I've been through conversations with doctors, nurses, psychologists, uh, friends about this and that. They just, you know, it's just, it's something that you can't really describe. And it's something that, you know, I, I understand now. I'm 53, but I understand that really elderly people that have been through other lots of traumas with their body end up going through stuff like this. And, you know, it's kind of an invisible thing that people suffer with. And, you know, you can't talk about it much because what are you going to say to anybody? And honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for just a bunch of factors that I don't want to get into, but yeah. One of them being the good people around me that, that uh, you know, try to understand what's going on with me and help me to figure it out and develop approaches to, to deal with it in the best way. So, yeah, there we go. What was that? 30 minutes? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Take care, guys. I feel like it's a long time, but, yeah, I guess I do watch two and a half hour videos on YouTube, so. 30 minutes isn't much, but thank you for giving me 30 minutes of your time. I really, uh, really appreciate it. And take care. And I hope this, this uh, blessed you in some ways or some way. Bye-bye. God bless.